In this video, I will cover how to properly throw the lead hook and the rear hook. The hooks are our two biggest power punches and also the two hardest punches to master. So here is what a proper rear hook and lead hook look like. Now I'm gonna take you step by step through the mechanics of how to properly throw these punches. I encourage you to follow along as you watch this video and also to re-watch this video multiple times to help become comfortable with the technique. So first off, for the lead hook, we'll start in our neutral stance, that classic boxing stance with our weight evenly distributed. From here, we'll transfer some of our weight over to our lead leg to load ourselves up to throw this punch. Now you can do this by throwing a setup punch, like a number two, or you can literally just cheat over into that position. I suggest we do that if you're following along at home. So you'll cheat over to your lead leg a little bit, and from there you'll bring your lead hand slightly off of your face to start the motion, and you'll use your legs and core to generate momentum through your hips, pivoting your lead foot to open up your hips to maximize weight transfer, landing the punch level with your elbow behind your fist, just like that. A trick with the hooks to get a little bit more power is to open your arm up a little bit wider at the start of the motion and then come across and engage that bicep and close up that angle to 90 degrees right before the moment of impact landing again with your elbow behind your fist. This will add a whip-like motion to your hook, sort of like a second gear and maximizes the power generated on that punch. All right, now for the rear hook. Again, you start in your neutral stance. And this rear hook, it's gonna have very similar mechanics to the lead hook, except it will come from the opposite side. And you'll not have to transfer any weight to the rear side prior to throwing, because you're already in your neutral stance. So in your neutral stance, watch as I open it up a little bit off of my face, and I engage my core to twist my torso while pivoting my rear foot to open up my hips and generate power, landing the punch level with my elbow behind my fist. This is very important to maximize power. For the lead hook, you start by transferring your weight to the lead side. You generate power by shifting your weight from the lead to rear by using your core muscles to generate momentum and pivoting your foot to open up your hips and maximize that weight transfer. As you begin to transfer your weight, your punching hand opens up off of your face and your elbow should be bent at a 90 to 120 degree angle depending on the range that you're at. You flex your bicep and clench your fist immediately before impact and land the punch with your arm level and your elbow behind your fist. All right, now here's what that looks like from the rear side. Again, you transfer weight to generate power. How much weight you transfer and how fast you transfer it determines how hard you hit. The biggest mistake to avoid when throwing your hooks is dropping your punching hand too low mid-motion. I see this all the time. This is not a good practice defensively because it leaves you open and also offensively because you will telegraph your punches and it will take them longer to be thrown given the added distance that they're traveling. To avoid this mistake, I want you to picture an imaginary line that runs across the middle part of your chest and extends out. Imagine bringing your hands below that line at any point would result in you being shocked, okay? Now, throw that lead hook, keeping your hand above that imaginary line the entire time throughout the entire motion, landing it with your elbow behind your fist. Don't let that hand drop below that line. Don't throw it from right there. All right, a final pro tip. Make sure your hands are always coming directly back to your face after you have completed the punch. So I'll throw my lead hook and I won't follow through and then let it drop like that. I'll throw it, land it, and then bring it back into my stance. Same thing with the rear hook. I'll throw it, I'll have an impact there and then I'll bring it directly back into my stance. Now that's not a reason not to punch through the target. I still want you to maximize power and hit that target hard, but I just, once you're done with that motion, I want you to bring it back. Okay, so there you have it. The lead hook and the rear hook. Practice these new punches slowly in the mirror and review this lesson as often as you need to to get comfortable. These punches are very hard to master, but practice and discipline make perfect. As always, Reach out to me in the community if you have any questions on these punches.